ግዜ ወሃበኩም ነታት ወሃበተኩም ግዜ በጉቦ ከተቆሙ ላይ ሆም ንፍሳስ ምንጣብ እንተ ደአ ከሰዓካ መጽዋር አቢዎ ንልዓልከ ብለካ ደልዩ አባ ኸለኻ ከተቋርጽ ነታ ተቀሪባ ደላ መግቢ ሰላጣ መስባኒአውን ምንጣብ አመረት ሓንተ ንጣብ ከማን አይትፍቀደኒያ ተተንቀቁም ክትወልዖ ከም ትቆሉ ተአመን እንደ ትነፍሱኩም ነገር እንደሎ አጓዝ ማሃንኩም ናባይ ከይት ሶግር ፈሪ ያለው መጨረሹ ግን አራይ መጀመሪያ በታ መግበ ከጅሙር ይኹም ተደሊኻ ቢኢድካ ተደሊኹም ፋርኬታ ብድሰለተኩም ተቋማ ሰዓዋት ቆል ይኹም ሐንሳብ አብዘለ ኾመ ሐጂ እድመ መጀማርና አስር ተዳቅ ተዋይ በናኹም አሏ ነዚአን ከተቋ ማሰዑን ከሰቲ ወን ክትበልዑን አስር ተዳቅ ስለዚህ አቃውመኹም አስተካክሉ ሰትበሉ ራይ መርሐመድ ናባካ ኩቡር ተዋዳዳሪ ንምጭላጥን ንምጅራጥን ተዳሎ ሐራይ አርባዓተ ሰለስተ ክልተ ሐደ ንቅሎ ሰላጣ 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 አብ ሰላጣ የለን ጣጣ ይሎም ይም ጣጣ ትባል ይብሉና አብ ሰላጣ አቱ ሰላጣ በሁሉ ነገሩ ስሉጢ ዋላ እንትርፍ በለህ ኹርምትን በለህ ካራን ጥራይ ደለን በርክሽን ክሽካይ ቀላላና አይ ሰላጣ ጣምቲያ ስልጥያ የስሉጡ አሉ ሰላጣ ዚያዳ ምስ ሰዓር ስለ ድቃራርቡ ናይ ባራይ አይነት አባላላ አይም ጥቆም ደሎ ለአቱ ናብ ሰዓር ጎጹ ቅርብ ዝበለ ስለ ዝኾነ ይም ሐቆም ይም ወርሳ ተዋዳ ድርቲ ፎርሳ ተዋዳ ድርቲ ፎርሳ አመ ምጅራጥ እኮ ሐደ ኸይዱሎ አብ ምጭላድ አዝሐል ከይብልንበር ከይዱሎ ኸይዱሎ ኸይዱ 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 ጠቦቦ ጠቦቦ ኦ አብዚያ መን ጥባ ዲዮ ይሐስን ይሩ ና ይሐስን ይሩ ኑን ተፍተ ለሊያ ተላሊያ ወናቱ ሐያል ናይ ምጥባብ ተሆሎ ተደል ስለ ዝኾነት መን ጥባ ዲዮ ዚያዳ ጠይቡን በዝኽፍለት ካሉ ኦርሳ ተዋላ ድርቲ ወርሳ ሞራል አቦ ምክንያቱ ገና ይፍልም እንበር ይፍጽም አይኮነ ዘሎ ከደ ከደ ገዱ ኸይዱ 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 ገና አብ ናዓይቱ ጻ አይቱ ጻ ና አቦታ ኻጽናህ አቦታ ኻጽናህ አቦታ ኻጽ ወይለይ መጽካዲዮ ፍንጹጎ ይደሊ መስለን ፍንጹጎ ተፈንጽጎ ካወል ሐንቲ ዋላው ፍንጹጎ ጸገም ይለ አጆዋ ይሆድለው ይሆድለው አጆም አጆም ሞራል ተዓዘብ ተሐያሊ ዶሎ ተማማ አኹ ይም ዘሎ ፎርሳ
دحانيو نغتو تو تراي زي كونه نغتو تصون عقمي حطتو اغليلكم اي تراي وطا غير تراي اجوغا اجوغا بس يا خمسه انت تنفيس كامسه دحر ابيلكا دحر لي تقتل كونكا دحر لي تقتل كونكا تنفيس كامسه غير تقتل تو كات شوفوا ديانو دعاني قواتا ترو لو توددر ونعين لعين تعت غوينا اوه تاكيزين نسو من بحان سابتو هديوم تاكيزين نسو من بحان سابتو هديوم تتحا حزوم تو هديوم تنسو مواطرا ينا قليوم زي تودا زي حيال كالتن تكنيكن لممدن زد ليو وددريو اطاقوه لهم كالي نقرا يكونن نظام اكرم يخم صنحو تودا در تمنسيات كم يكم زرقا وكم امري يخم امال لهم قلقن مس سالاتان مس قلن مس مع خقاتم سلزغيل زيتن شكرا ترى تا حويسس كم بيبي كم سلزغيل ويكا دخام دي تاني حوام انا سي خابز حالي فمسن عبز مولا بركش نزاعتو يمسيل نيرمو قديمو منا حجي نتي وددر وطيت كرم من قارنا قن كل التسابات أقدمهم نتعود تعويتهم من يرمين نايك سعى قد يكونوا نايك غرورو قد يكونوا قن بجاق عبيلو ما لو حجي توت يد قن يحلف ناس لزلنا نقرأكم يو سنيلكم تغطاته لو هو خمس زوالي أدلاء قبورن قال يوم أجوت تهاس يوم أجوت أفسيد لو حرين بارنا بتعود تغنقاتو سال ساي تعود تغنقون دولو خابزوم نايتو ما قحطو إفريم حفته سال ساي تعواتي تعيت با مورال 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 كلي لا يكون ان خندي زو ما قصتكو حراي قال اي تعواتي قلب ساي داخل قدام اي تعواتي سناي وهاب when you go home tonight can you say to yourself, when you look yourself in the mirror and say, I, I am being honest with myself, and I was honest with myself today. So I'm going to challenge you to be telling the truth to yourself. The last thing, which I think is actually the most difficult, is I'm going to ask you to be curious about your judgments rather than just attached to them. So many of you are going to have judgments all the time. We are, we are judgment-making creatures. We're, we have a lot of factors to us. One of them is that we make judgments and assessments. Now some people say, I don't judge. I don't judge. But that can't be possible. Because you have to make assessments and judgments in order to make informed choices. So all I want you to do today is, when you notice a judgment arise, just get curious about it. Huh, what's that judgment about? Why am I thinking that? Because that might inform uh, something you hadn't thought about before. Now, can I ask all of you to join me? How many of you will agree that we will stick with these contracts? I'm going to do the same. I am going to also, I'm going to show up, pay attention, tell the truth, and I'm going to be curious about, and I'm going to try to do them in the right order this time. <laughs> so, uh, can all of you, let me see, I want to see hands. Everyone's hands? Excellent. All right, so we're all in agreement. Very good. All right, we're off to a good start then. This is what we're going to do today. We're going to explore our openness to change and growth. Because if people aren't open and ready to change, they're not going to. If your mind is closed and you have inside of you a part of you that's going to sort of reject whatever comes your way, if you're a resistant learner, you can't learn. So we're going to talk about how to open ourselves up for change. Because all of you are going to be leaders, and you are leaders now, and we want to figure out how do we help people to change. We open them up. We create a space that uh, engenders change. Then we're going to talk about how our emotions and our perception affect our decision making. So by the end of this, you're going to understand that more effectively. We're going to discover three secrets to managing our emotions. You're going to learn a lot about what feelings are. We'll be defining them. And then finally, you're going to understand the importance of how self-awareness impacts your performance as a leader. 
Sound good? All right. So I usually ask if anyone here has ever heard of Daniel Borston, because I like to find out. Some of you must have heard of him, because I think some of you were here before. <laughs> so Daniel Borston, I used to say, was a famous historian. But uh, the only people who have heard of him are the people who have been to my talks, it seems. He uh, was the director of the Library of Congress and is a historian. And he has one of my favorite quotes. I'm going to give you my favorite quote at the end of the talk. Uh, he says that the greatest obstacle to discovery is not ignorance. It's the illusion of knowledge. It's not that we don't know that keeps us from growing and learning. It's that we think we know, and we close our mind to what's possible. Because human beings have a very particular need. We need to know. We like to have answers. And when we don't know something that's going to happen, or we don't know what's happening to us, we can get scared. And when we get scared, we want to get secure again. And one of the ways that we get secure is that we build stories. We build stories and erect bridges of knowledge to take us from the edge of not knowing to a place where we're solid and know again. And sometimes in the process of building that knowledge to protect ourselves, we're actually not paying attention to our surroundings. And we're losing out on very important information that can, again, help us make more informed choices. <clears throat> So by being open and by being curious, by standing at the edge of not knowing, we can learn more and we can grow more. But it's a little bit, it's a little bit scary. It can be very vulnerable. So I'm going to challenge all of you today to be thinking about moments when you think you're going to start creating the answer before you've heard it. When you go back to just an automatic response to get curious. Sound nice? Okay. Because this is related to our perception. Because in general, and I'm going to read this for you, in general, how we perceive and interpret the world determines how we adapt and cope, rather than the world itself. Now, I suggest this generally. I think this generally is true. And I'll give you an example. How many of you have ever been angry from seeing a movie or reading an email. Let's say reading an email. Have you ever read an email, and as a result of the email, you were angry? <laughs> okay. All right. That, that makes sense. All right, everyone, everyone can agree for the most part. Now, I'm going to suggest that what made you angry are pixels on a screen. They're photons emitting from a light source, hitting your retina, being interpreted by your middle prefrontal cortex and your limbic area, in particular your amygdala, which causes an appraisal of information based on a perception that you have that is about your own history, your own life experience, your own genetic predispositions, and in particular, your own perception. Because if you take someone who doesn't speak the same language that you speak, or someone who doesn't know how to read, and you put them in front of that same stimulus, that computer screen, and ask them, look at this thing, look at this thing, they're not going to have the same response that you have. Because it is our perception that creates the experience that we're having. Now, if a lion came in the room, my guess is everyone here is going to be scared, right? We're all going to perceive that relatively similarly. But if you were like a really great lion tamer, you grew up with lions, you might not be as scared as me. Because <laughs> I would be very scared if the lion came in the room. Because you might know, look, I just move very slowly. I don't look at the lion. And I push the other person in front of me, and I'll be fine. <laughs> So the reality is, is that we have to watch what we're perceiving and recognize that we, our perceptions are impacting how we're making choices and who's in front of us. Because the key today is about how we're going to be making choices based on the data that we're gleaning. So I like to define my terms. So I like to define emotional intelligence just to start. So emotional intelligence is a, I mean, emotions are a mental state that arises spontaneously rather than through conscious effort. And it's oftentimes associated with some kind of physiological response. Okay? Emotions just happen to us. They occur naturally. And they occur because of an evolutionary function of the human experience. That we have developed this skill, this ability to perceive the world in a different way than a lot of other mammals, and certainly other reptiles, because reptiles don't even have limbic systems. Limbic systems are where we have this emotional part of our brain. Now, the important thing about emotions is that they're also very subjective. Now, there are general emotions, and we're going to talk about that in a moment. 
But you, what triggers your emotions is going to be different than what triggers someone else's emotions, particularly because of things like our perception of them. But emotions are going to happen to you no matter what. And for us to create this sense of like emotions don't matter is actually missing out on our perceptual experience. So you're going to have emotions no matter what. Does anybody know what our four basic emotions are? I want to see if anybody remembers. <laughs> anybody? Yeah, let's hear it. Happy, sad, Happy, sad, mad, and scared. That's right. Mad, sad, glad, and scared. So just like there are three primary colors, which by the way, I didn't even know there were three primary colors until I was about 35, when my daughter came home from, uh, from preschool and said, I know my primary colors. And I was like, wow, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> She's like, well, if there are only three colors and they make up all of the colors, which I know that there are different hues and things like that, but for, for what she was talking about, this is pretty much it. And I had no idea. I didn't realize that is it what yellow, blue, and red? Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right, good. So yellow, blue, and red make up all of the colors basically that we use, right? And I had no idea. But what I did know 